My name is Regan Mendoza, a.k.a. Mr. Riggs. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's my only real alias. <laughs> okay. I've always had the passion to make music and to write. Uh, since, like I said, since uh, as, as young as I can remember. So I can't stress enough the importance of keeping the business side of your creative aspirations. Um, I can't stress how important it is to have your have your business side very tight. Um, it's it's so important. You have to have if if you're say a producer and you're working with artists, you have to have um, artist agreements. You have to know how you're going to get paid. If you know if you're working with artists, you know where you're getting paid, or if you're trying to you know you have to make sure that your material is copyrighted. You have to make sure that you know if. If you're gonna, you know, get paid up front for a beat that you're selling to an artist, then you have to make sure that you have that in your agreement. How much are you getting paid? You know, what are you getting paid on the back end, if anything? When I was 19, I did kind of a wood shedding period. You know, I think all artists do certain certain wood shedding periods where they just kind of block out the outside world, put the blinders on, and just really, really focus on their craft. And I think different. I think the the longer that you're you're an artist, and the more that the longer that you're able to, to be a creative professional, you'll have different opportunities and different times to, to do that. It, it was just a good release for me to to kind of get a lot of you know a lot of those you know angsty high school teenager you know emotions and stuff, and just put them put them on the pen, uh, excuse me, put them on the paper, and then from there, then I started to develop an appreciation for the craft and for the technique of writing, and you know. Um, you know how how to how to put different words together, or how to put concepts together, or or phrases, or or the impact that one word had versus another one. And I I don't necessarily recommend people that are going you know that that really want to break into this business and only specifically only want to do audio. You don't need to spend all the money going to a four-year college. I would say you can learn everything that that you need to know in one or two years of going to school, or honestly, everything everything being the way that everything is right now, you could just take, you could have a wood shedding year, and you could just take a ton of classes on YouTube, and you could learn so much. I learned a lot in school, but I didn't learn, but I didn't learn uh, most of what I learned came from just working at it. A friend of mine and myself uh, opened up a project studio, uh, maybe my, like my last two years I was up in Chicago. Um, I interned at a studio while I was up in, in Chicago and, and just from just keeping my hands on the equipment, keeping my hands on the mixing board, keeping my hands on my keyboards and keeping my hands on my instruments and, and everything like that and, and working, developing other artists and working with other artists and developing ourselves as artists and that's where I learned, you know, 90% of everything that I do today is I, I learned just from doing it, just from being hands-on. That being said, then once I actually entered the industry and I got, I really, really got a real industry job, I realized how, once again, you, you kind of, you know, you go through these phases, once again, you kind of realize how little you actually know. And so then you're, once again, you're at a learning curve and then, you know, you just do on-the-job training. Finally bringing me into the fold. Charlie's pregnant. I really want to keep it. It's awesome. Huh? That's it before he plays it for somebody else. Hey. Go ahead. How do you stay grinding yes. for 12 hours on just, you know, like the same track and just what, what is it that, where does that motivation come from? If I can avoid grinding for 12 hours on the same track, I absolutely do. <laughs> um, I don't mind grinding for 12 hours, but I would at least like to, um, I would at least like to mix it up over the course of uh, maybe two or three different, you know, tracks or, mm -hmm. you know, mix it up, throw in some poetry in the middle of it or whatever. Um, but I, I would say if I, if I absolutely have to, which has happened, um, which does happen regularly, uh, if, I, if I absolutely have to just sit and grind for, for 12 hours on something, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, you know, where's the motivation? You, you know, you kind of have to, like, it, it I, I has, it, like, it has to, you know what I mean? Everything has to fit, like, you get tired, but then you get inspired, then something clicks, and then you get inspired, you know what I mean? Like, if it's not clicking, it, it first of all, if I'm not getting paid to do it, right? 
uh, which if I'm getting paid to do it, then I guess that's the motivation in and of itself. The client needs it by this time, so I have to get it done. There's just a certain amount of you but know. But what about on your a, own stuff? Like you get but, you get. But, uh. but, but if I'm if I'm working on my own thing, then uh, I absolutely shake it up. Uh, if, if something is not working, I'll push it for maybe another half hour or something and see if, you know, see if I can get something, some sort of spark, you know. Um, but if not, then I switch it up. So if I'm working on a poem and I just, I can't get the, you know, beginning right, and maybe I have an ending and I went back to rewrite the beginning or something like that, then I'll, I'll go and work on the, you know, work on the ending. Or I'll start trying to memorize it, or I'll start editing different parts. So I'll stay on the poem, but I'll work on different aspects of it. When I'm working on a beat, for instance, maybe if I'm, you know, working on this one part and I'm trying to get the sound of this sound of the, this chord progression, and I'm trying to get it right, but it's just not something about it's just not right. Then I don't work on it anymore. Then I work on the melody, or I work on the drum sounds, or you know, what I mean, it's just a matter of of giving your brain a rest, working on something completely different and letting your sort of subconscious work on it. And but you still time, keep working. Yeah, 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 you absolutely still still keep working. Um, you, you have to. Spirituality plays a lot, um, it plays a, a very strong part in my creative work as far as my writing goes. Um, it's not really anything that I'm, it's, it's not something I intend to do, it's not like every time I'm like, oh, I'm gonna sit down and write about spirituality and you know, God and universal truths and all these things that connect us. But it is something that I do spend a lot of time thinking about uh, uh, just because um, I do want my art to, to be sort of reflective of those things. I, I want to, I specifically want to um, try and connect people, you know, what makes us all tick, what, what brings us together. Um, and so then once you start thinking about things like that, you start going down the road of spirituality, um, which, which is why I write so heavily about it. I read a lot about it because I, it, I, it's very interesting to me and I think, you know, philosophy and all of these things, you know, why are we here and all the, you know, unanswerable questions. Uh, granted, they're genuinely unanswerable, I believe, but I think it's the pursuit of trying to answer them that really, um, that really propels us forward and gives us answers on so many other things, you know what I mean? Or at the very least, it helps us, gives us, you know, purpose and helps us deal with disappointments and deal with true hardships and things like that. The fact that I can work on music and sound engineering and poetry and do all of these things, which have kind of been... Have, have kind of been, you know, my dream, what I've always wanted to do all along with my life. The fact that I can do it is what makes me passionate about doing it, just having the opportunity itself. So.